Um, so here, uh, Imam al-Ba'li rahimahullah ta'ala, he begins and he says, there are two categories, that which has an analogous livestock animal, and the second which is what the companions, uh, and, and the second category is that which does not have an analogous type. Uh, so to deal with the first category of the analogous livestock animal, which means that it's a game animal that you've hunted, and it has a livestock equivalent, the livestock being cow, camel, goat, or sheep. So you've gone and hunted some other type of animal, wild animal, and there is a livestock equivalent that has to be, uh, has to be offered as a penalty. So there's two types of this analogous livestock animal. The first of those is what the companions ruled on or adjudicated. So basically the companions during the time of the Prophet والسلام, or shortly thereafter, they concluded what the uh, game animals equivalent were in the livestock. And this includes a couple of things that is mentioned here. So um, basically how this works is he mentions the game animal and its livestock equivalent. So the first thing he mentions is an ostrich. You know, the tall bird um, runs very fast. Uh, for which is a camel. So if you were to hunt an ostrich, then the equivalent you would have to offer as a penalty would be a camel. A zebra, an antelope, a deer, a hartebeest, and ibex. All of those are kind of like deer. Some are a little bigger and um, maybe different colors, but they're all similar animals. For each of these is a cow. The aardwolf, uh, the aardwolf is um, an extant species of the hyena. So a lot of times the word here, lubba, is translated as hyena. And you know the hyena is a um, carnivorous animal. It's like a desert dog, if you will. And we have been prohibited from consuming carnivorous beasts. Um, so, more than likely, uh, Bubba is referring to the aardwolf, an extant species of the hyena. It's a distant relative. So the aardwolf is not a carnivorous animal, but it eats um, vegetation and sometimes it will eat insects. So, if you have heard before that it's permissible to eat hyena, more than likely what's meant by that is this aardwolf. And this was mentioned by Imam Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah in one of his works, I'lam al muqayin So he talks extensively about the lubr being the aardwolf and not the hyena. So if you were to kill the aardwolf, there would be a sheep offered. A gazelle, for which is a sheep. A hyrax, hyrax is like a furry round animal with a short tail. And a lizard, a consumable lizard that is, much larger lizard, uh, for which is a kid, which is a young uh, goat. He says that Jarboa, Jarboa is a cross between a mouse and a rabbit. Looks like a little bit bigger size of a mouse, has the pointy ears like the rabbit and it hops around in the desert. They used to hunt and kill those things and eat them, uh, for which is a four month she goat. If you were to hunt a rabbit, uh, for which is a she-kid less than a four-month uh, she-goat. So it would be a small she-goat less than four months. He says, hammam, a hammam is not the hammam that you use for showers, but the hammam is a bird. And it's any bird that, um, that uh, he essentially says, any bird that drinks water uh, and coos. Uh, and the analogous uh, animal is a sheep. So these are some of the specific animals that the companions themselves um, determined an equivalent livestock animal that would be offered as a penalty in the event that they were hunted. The second, which is what the companions did not rule on. So there are other game animals, the companions, they did not uh, derive uh, a livestock equivalent. And so in the instance that you hunt one of these animals, um, you should refer to the judgment of two upright specialists. So those that are specialists in game animals and 
what their livestock um, equivalent would be, right? Because there are some animals that have an equivalent livestock um, animal. It says the second category, and this is the category that does not have an analogous type, meaning there's no livestock animal that you can use in its place. And this includes the remaining species of birds. And basically what you have to do in this case is you have to offer the local value. So these game birds are hunted and they are sold in the marketplace for people to come and buy and to consume. So what you'll do is if you hunt one of those birds while you are in ihram, then you have to figure out what the local market value is and then you have to pay the penalty uh, with that price.